Well, hello YouTube. A couple of months ago, I showed you a power box, a thousand uh, watt power box that was uh, damaged. Uh, the box itself, uh, the plastic, it was damaged. The battery were gone in it. So what I did, I took it apart and put the electronics in the plywood box that I made myself. Power inverter and the electronics and everything that uh, I needed from the inside. Took it out, put it in this uh, plywood box. The front of the box. Unfortunately, the battery status button don't work anymore. So I have to check manually power in my battery, which is right now at 12.4. Now I connected this box to a little refrigerator I have. I guess you would call them uh, apartment size. And uh, I just put the power on and power drop to 12 volt 11.9 is pretty steady now this has been running for about four hours and the battery was not fully charged when I started so I knew that the uh, compressor is working and uh, so if I ever need it I can use this as backup for my uh, for that little fridge that I have refrigerator now right now if I could connect you could connect these to panel solar panels and it would uh, give you a backup a good backup uh, it's been running for about four hours and the battery is still pretty decently charged I'm only going to run it for a couple of more hours just uh, I don't want to drain the battery too much but for in case of emergency I got a backup and that works great I made the frame up out of uh, these are bed uh, angles bed frame angles uh, hey you could make it out of wood if you want it I did leave myself enough space to, inst to put another battery here if I need to which I will probably do anyway just for uh, just so that I have a, b a better backup these batteries are out of a uh, 18 wheeler truck they're uh, I believe it's 1100 cranking amps they're a good and powerful battery they work great just a little something you could make yourself if you could find even a 300 uh, watt uh, inverter a power box would uh, you just keep the electronics and uh, once the battery goes in those there's no use uh, replacing the battery they're just uh, too expensive now another little project that I'm working on for one of my friends is somebody give me this uh, wheel it's an electric motor for uh, a bicycle but the nice thing about it is that it's an electric motor it serves also as a generator I'm just connecting my uh, meter here to a rectifier because it is while AC on it so it uh, I need a rectifier for the power now oh, come on, be nice to me, stay there. There. Now, if I give it a turn, that's the turn I'm gonna, I cannot show you me turning the wheel and my meter at the same time, so that's about the, the speed that I'm turning it. 17, peak at 17, 19 volts, ouch caught myself, well, caught my hand and spoke 19.8 volt 
So that works, uh, pretty good. I did not check the amperage, but voltage is there. I don't need much amp amperage uh, at a constant uh, turning because this is probably going to be a water wheel. I'll put some fins here. My friend's got a camp that he could use. Uh, it's just going to be for uh, his recharging his laptop or his phone or something like that so he's not going to need a lot of power so this turning 24 7 would give him uh, enough power to recharge his batteries probably one or two battery that's all he's going to have uh, another and i'm still doing some project on my rocket stove here he stop i don't hear the fan anymore so the fridge must be cool cool enough so that works great I'm still doing some projects on my rocket stove summer's done now so uh, I got more time to do some work in my shop also working on my solar panels my everything is a mess right now I just don't have I didn't have time this summer to work on it so I'm just uh, doing uh, going to be doing a lot more work on it uh, this uh, this fall and winter. And also I'm going to be working on this generator that I built. Problem with it is that it's too heavy to turn. It's uh, the brake discs that I'm using are just too heavy. So I'm probably going to make myself some. Uh, get some quarter inch plate make myself two uh, two discs and use that something that's going to be a lot lighter reuse my uh, magnets and work on that and also this is a DC motor out of a uh, treadmill I don't know what I'm going to be using it for right now I might use it as a motor for this uh, piston pump 24 volt motor because it goes up to 90 volts so uh, 24 volt with uh, would work I tried it and it does work uh, at 24 volts just for the fun of it see if it pumps if it works I seen somebody else do it uh, with a smaller motor <laughs> But uh, see somebody else do it. Uh, work, uh, put that on the on a pump like that, and it works pretty good. Anyway, just letting you know that I'm uh, still doing some projects. Just I never, I didn't have much time to do uh, videos lately. So if you have any comment or question, just leave them below. Thanks for watching.